Hey, what's up, guys? Um, this is a video that I have been wanting to do for a while, but I've been putting it off. Uh, I want to uh, do some research, uh, have my laptop up, have notes, uh, reference material, etc., etc. One of my long, uh, you know, one of my long uh, research style videos that I've done in the past. But, um, uh, you know, I've held off on this long enough, and I just saw something that uh, made me decide to go ahead and do this video. Um, let me give a quick shout out to uh, Blood Boxing. I think Blood Boxing returns here on YouTube. Uh, I am subscribed to his channel. He did a video, uh, maybe last week sometime, or two weeks ago, I cannot remember. But he pointed out that uh, Stephen A. Smith, who I have respect for, uh, from first take, uh, basically said that he didn't care that uh, Canelo popped on a drug test and he wanted to see the fight. And, uh, you know, I, I watched the uh, the segment from first take that he was referring to. And indeed, you know, Stephen A., you know, that's what he was saying, that he really didn't care. He didn't want this fight to get canceled because of the clenbuterol positive test, all that, you know. You know, I thumbs down that video, man. That is that is that's a terrible statement to make, man. Terrible statement to make, you know. Um, and now, I just saw a video uh, from uploaded by ESPN. It's titled "First Take Reacts to Triple G Calling Canelo and Oscar De La Hoya Drug Cheats." It's five minutes and fifteen seconds long. If you want to pull that video up. Um, you know, and, and once again, um, you know, Stephen A's taking the stance on, you know, that, you know, it, it wasn't smart for Triple G to say these things and he wants to see the fight. You know, uh, Stephen A. Smith is representing uh, all of the fans in boxing who just want to see knockouts, just want to see big fights, could care less about the drug testing process. Uh, guys popping positive, all those kind of things, man. Um, you know, the exact wrong view and approach to this, man. You know, uh, I, I, as I've said before, man, I do not want to see uh, fights where one guy could have a competitive uh, edge or advantage while the other guy uh, has not or cannot because he's subject to random testing or because the guy uh, just does not believe in cheating, man, while he's facing the guy who is cheating or could cheat. You know, these guys are punching each other, man. Uh, guys uh, getting killed in the ring, man. Suffering uh, life-altering injuries. You know, this is uh, this is not something to be taken lightly, man. It is not. You know, getting these extra strength gains and power gains and, you know, stamina, speed gains, man. You can change a guy's life in the ring, man. You know, this is not to be taken lightly, man. You know, I want I want to see big fights and exciting knockouts myself, but you know, not at the expense of uh, ruining someone's life, man. And uh, you know, Stephen A. While I respect him, I like him, man. He needs to, uh, you know, he needs to put a clean sport ahead of uh, of the money, of the big fights, of the knockouts. You know, he he needs to put uh, you know these guys' health and well-being ahead of that. You know, having a fair, uh, competitive uh, sport. And not an unfair sport, man. That's not what I want to see. But I needed to go ahead and do this video, man, to uh, comment on the uh, Canelo Golovkin situation. Uh, you know what I think about the fight, uh, you know, whether it should be canceled or not. You know what Canelo should do, what Golovkin should do, and I need to comment on uh, boxing and how boxing is failing. Uh, it is failing badly, man. Boxing is is uh, is looking very very bad in this situation, man. Uh, you know I am very disappointed, man, in the sanctioning bodies. Uh, you know the WBC and the WBA. While I do not have their uh, you know exact quotes uh, out in front of me right now, you know it has been reported that they uh, basically uh, giving Canelo a pass, man. Like they clearing the guy. Basically, without even much of, of an investigation, man. You know, Tub saying that the guy's not a cheater, that they stand by the guy. You know, 
these are the, these are the people who are supposed to be overseeing the sport, uh, you know, mandating big fights, making sure guys are clean, uh, making sure we have a fair, you know, fair fights, man. Guys not cheating, having competitive uh, edge advantage, and they saying these kind of things, man. They they instituting drug programs, and uh, you know, a guy fails and they don't do anything about it, man. You know, this is this is, you know, they are losing uh the public trust, man. You know, you know they they are losing, you know, you know how how can I uh you know trust and believe these sanctioning bodies, man? You know, if they're gonna do these kind of things, you know, and I will send this video to all the sanctioning bodies. You know, how how can I trust you guys to do what's best for uh for the sport, for the fighters, for the fans? You know, when you will give uh somebody a pass if they fail a test, man. You know, it's you know it's like the money is the most important thing, man, and that and that's not the way it should be, man. You know, um, boxing is 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 losing in this regard, man, to the UFC, to all the hardcore boxing fans, uh, you know, who who don't like MMA, who don't like the UFC, who feel boxing is number one. I tell you, man, um, uh, boxing is losing. Big time in this regard to the UFC, man. They really are. Uh, you know, the way the UFC has it set up, man, USADA does the testing and they hand out suspensions, man. You know, the UFC has no control over how long a guy gets suspended or whatever. You know, USADA, they, they'll do the test. And uh, after the investigation, after due process, they'll hand out, you know, say what this uh, suspension will be, man. UFC cannot... Uh, you know they they cannot uh you know cut a guy break like you know like WBC and WBA are doing you know they they do not do that man you know uh teams I've seen many uh interviews man they the TMZ they'll somebody fail test TMZ will ask you know how long can we expect them to be now oh, what's going to happen and they will quickly say you saw the handles that <laughs> you saw the handles that man you know I I have nothing to do nothing I can do about it you know I have no say in it that's the way it should be, man. Their hands are clean. You know, if a guy pops positive, he has to deal with USADA, man. USADA independently hands out the uh, suspension, man. You know, if uh, if if this Canelo Golovkin uh, situation happened with the UFC, and uh, no no matter how much Clint Buterol was in uh, Canelo's system, man, they would have announced that uh, that he had been flagged by USADA, and that fight would have been canceled on the spot, man. It would have been canceled on the spot. USADA would not have said, well, it was just traces of Clint Buterall. We still going to let the fight happen, you know. Hell no, man. And uh, I tell you, the, the biggest for, for the, the boxing fans who don't follow the UFC, you know, the biggest uh, example of uh, you know, closest to this that happened with the UFC is UFC 200, man, with uh, John Jones and Daniel Cormier, man. That was gonna be their big rematch. UFC 200 was a landmark event for the UFC. They had three title fights. They had a gold canvas. They had, uh, I mean, you know, they spent millions and millions of dollars, man. You know, promoting that event, man. Uh, it it was a big, big deal. International Fight Week, which is basically like uh, the UFC's WrestleMania in uh, July every year. They. Uh, Man, they, um, you know, it was the week the week of the fight. A few days before the fight, a Wednesday, you know, it was a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three days before the fight. Um, you know, they had a press conference. Uh, they had UFC tonight later on that night. And then maybe like an hour after that, it was like an emergency press conference, UFC Hill. And they announced that John Jones uh, had been flagged by USADA for a potential violation and that his fight with Daniel Cormier had been canceled, man. Had been canceled. It was, it was going to be one of the biggest fights in UFC history. Uh, the biggest event up to that point in UFC history, man. And they had spent me they, hell, they spent a million dollars on the uh, commercial loan for the for that event, man. You know, and it was and it just all went down the drain. All the promotion that they did, all the money that they spent, you know, plugging up, you know, that that rematch with those guys, man. It was gone, man. You know, if if they ever had any incentive to uh to be hush hush, to put it to the side, to cut John Jones a break and 
you know, hell, even Daniel Cormier, Daniel Cormier was, you know, he was, you know, he was stomping his feet and crying, saying he was signing a waiver to fight the guy because he had a great payday. He wanted to get his revenge on the guy. And uh, Dana said, I can't do it. You know, nothing, we can't do it, man. You know, and they canceled that shit, man. They canceled that fight. So the UFC, man, you know, no nobody can uh down talk to UFC when it comes to this situation, man. You know, they are they are uh, destroying boxing in, in this regard, man. You know, they did not let the let the big money fight uh uh you know uh compromise their integrity, man, and uh you know ruin that their name. You know, ru- ruin the name of their company or their drug testing process. They canceled that shit, man. They canceled that shit, and that was a big, big fight, you know. Uh, in, in, in many regards, on the level to a Triple G Canelo, in my opinion. So, you know, <clears throat> and this guy fails a test, and um, hell, the WBA uh, has not uh, said that we're not going to sanction that fight. The WBC has not said we're not going to sanction that fight. Hell, I, the IBF, I, I've not heard them say that they're they, they, they not going to sanction that fight. Their title's still on the line. You know, this is terrible, man. This is absolutely terrible. You know, I don't care how much uh, uh, how much was in his system or not in his system, man. The guy, the guy failed, man. He failed that test. And, uh, you know, it's kind of ironic, man. You know, could it, could it have been contaminated meat? Maybe so, you know, I cannot uh, clearly say if Canelo uh, did it uh, intentionally or if he ingested contaminated meat. I have no idea, man. But let me say this. You know, Canelo is from Mexico. He lives in Mexico. He's been to Mexico all his time, right, all all his life. Now, why is it that all of a sudden, and this is a fair question to ask, why is it all of a sudden, he will pop on this, uh, on this clenbuterol, man. After he he just had a tough fight with Golovkin, where a lot of people felt that he lost. I didn't feel that he lost. I thought he won that fight clearly, man. One seventeen, one thirteen was my score card. Uh, but you know, people, some people said that you know felt that he lost. Uh, he had some criticism, but he was you know on the back foot boxing the guy. I thought that, I thought he he did a great job, but. Uh, you know, would Canelo could Canelo have the incentive to uh, you know wanna you know to fight better to to have more stamina more power to stop Golovkin? You know, I would say so, man. This this is a big fight, a possibly a career defining fight for the guy. Uh, it, one that will be uh, remembered after he is retired, and uh, you know it's just I'm just saying, man, it's mighty ironic, man, that you know. That that the guy would uh you know would all of a sudden pop on shit man, you know after that fight you know he's been in Mexico all this time you know he's around Mexican meat you know, and it would just have to be some some shitty shitty luck man for this guy to ingest this, uh you know before the Golovkin rematch man, you know when anybody could say that hey this guy has an incentive to uh you know to want to have some extra in the tank to beat Golovkin man. Because people, some people think he, a lot of people think that he cannot beat Golovkin. So, you know that's bad, man. And and hell, I didn't even get to do a prediction video, uh, you know, before this news uh, happened, man. But hell, my prediction was going to be not only Canelo to win this fight, but hell, I was going to pick Canelo to stop Golovkin, man. And I was going to point out that that Canelo was not enrolled in the clean boxing program. That he had not been uh, subjected to testing between fights, you know, and that and that allows him to have a competitive uh, edge, competitive advantage if he wants to, you know. I personally view it as them having a competitive uh, advantage anyway because if they want to do it, they can do something, you know. So they they still have that advantage because they have that window, man. So um, yeah, I was I was gonna pick uh, Can- at first. I feel that Canelo's a better fighter anyway, but you know. The fact that uh, he didn't have that window, man, and I just, you know, I, I thought that he would have a more sustained body attack uh, on Golovkin this time. He was standing in the pocket more, and he would go for the knockout, man, and it would not have surprised me if it happened. But I'm telling you guys now, man, uh, you know, I am not uh, I'm, I'm not buying this fight, man. If this fight go, goes on, 
I'm not buying this fight, man. I'm not buying this fight. I'm not watching this fight. I'm not supporting this fight. Hell, I won't even watch the HBO replay, man. I will not be doing a post fight video on this fight. Uh, you know, I'm not, man. You know, I'm taking a hard line stance on uh, you know, PED usage in boxing, man, and the, and the blood urine testing process, which I've been meaning to do a, a video on that subject alone. Uh, and and I will uh, at some point in the future, man. But you know this, uh, you know, and this is part of my stance, man. You know, I I am not supporting a, a fight where a guy failed a test and they and they gonna go with, go along along with the fight anyway. You know, you you telling me that even the, the the trace amount that he had in the system supposedly that that uh, could not possibly give him an advantage in the gym. You know, when he's training, when he's trying to get his stamina gains, his strength gains, and all these things, man, that it, it couldn't possibly help in some way, you know. Of course it could, man. Even the trace amount. So, uh, yeah, I, I won't be supporting this fight if it goes off, man. If it goes off, it's a disgrace. Disgrace to boxing. Disgrace to uh, the WBA and the WBC. As I pointed out, the WBC, man. They were giving uh, Canelo two title shots, man, not being enrolled in the clean boxing program. You know, after I uh, contacted them and asked them about uh, Canelo getting a, a second shot, not being enrolled in the program, shortly after they removed that asterisk by his name on their rankings, man. Now, is Canelo actually enrolled in the clean boxing program? Hell, you know, why and how can I trust the WBC, uh, you know, to say that, that he is, man? You know, when they when they... When they giving the guy a pass, man, you know, and I like Mauricio Suleiman, man, but, you know, for some reason, I don't know if it's because it's his countryman or what, man, but, you know, he has been bending over backwards for uh, Canelo, man, you know, gave Canelo the title shot against Cotto when Golovkin was the mandatory, um, you know, then Canelo got all pissed, you know, when they when they mandated the uh, Golovkin fight and then he, he, he gave up his belt. You know, throwing a fit, saying he'll never fight for the WBC again, and you know he was all pissed at the WBC, and and uh, you know Mauricio Suleiman not even comment on the situation, man. Now he's going. He went to meet with uh, Canelo a few weeks back. You know they working it out, hugging it out, and stuff, man. You know they gave him a, they gave him one title shot against Golovkin without being enrolled in the program. Then they gave him a second shot against Golovkin without being enrolled in the program, man. So. You know, you know, how can I trust, uh, you know, if they saying that this guy's enrolled in the program now, they removed the asterisk and the CBP by his name on the rankings. You know, how can I trust that he actually enrolled, man? You know, wh why am I not supposed to think that, hey, maybe they, in that meeting that they had where they hugged it out, that, uh, you know, Mauricio may have said that, you know, that, hey, you don't have to, um, uh, you know, uh, enroll in the program right now or whenever, you know, you know, with, with, with this kind of, uh, behavior, you know, how can I trust that the WBC, uh, you know, won't be strict with the guy, man, that they, you know, cause they don't want to piss him off, you know, so this is what I'm saying, man, these, these sanctioned bodies, man, I tell you, if, if I was Mauricio Sumar on WBC, man, look, when Canelo was throwing his little, his little uh, tantrum talking about he'll never fight for the WBC again and how he was upset and all this and that. He don't want to fight for our title. I tell you, I would have came out and I would have said, look, the WBC was around before Canelo and it's going to be around after Canelo. If he don't want to fight for the WBC, we wish him all the best in the world, man. There are plenty of guys in the world who want to fight for our green titles, man. And that would have been it, man. And, and that would put him in every other box on notice, man, that... That no fighter is above the WBC, man. You know, that no fighter, uh, you know, no sanctioned fee that we can get from the fighter is not above uh, those three letters, man. And, you know, and, and w what they mean, you know. So, uh, you know, I, I think Mauricio has, he's failed in this regard, man. You know, you know how can I trust that uh, Canelo uh, has enrolled in the program, that they would be strict on the guy, man. You know, because he could throw a, temp a temper tantrum and, uh, you know, not want to do, you know, work with them anymore. And they, that that seems to be something that they don't want, you know. So, it's bad, man. WBA, uh, what they said, that they they standing by Canelo, you know. Terrible, man. You know, 
how, how can I trust these sanctioning bodies, man, in the, you know, the, the, the drug testing programs that I've been pushing, you know, clean Boston program, fair Boston program, you know. I just, I don't know, I don't know what to say, man. You know, this is, this is really bad, man. Um, and look, the way I see it, man, look, Golovkin, he's been, he's been out. He's talking about, uh, you know, saying that, uh, you know, that Canelo's a cheat. Uh, well, look, man, you know, if, if, if he's feeling so strongly about it, man, look, he needs to pull out the fight. You know, he should have pulled out. They should have pulled out. Uh, that fight, as soon as that news came out, man, he just said, fight's off. That's it. Fight is off, man. Uh, you know, where, where's Abel Sanchez, who I'm not a fan of? You know, uh, not a fan of, 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 of him at all. <laughs> One of the most uh, detestable guys in boxing, in my opinion. Where's Tom Laughlin, man? You know, his, his promoter. Uh, hell, where's Vladimir and Vitaly Klitschko? You know, K2 Promotions. Where are these guys at, man? You know, uh, do they care about Golovkin? You know, hell, not not to be fair, maybe behind closed doors, maybe they have said, "Hey, Gennady, we feel that you shouldn't take this fight." You know, or you know, we we gonna leave it up to you. You know, maybe they have had those conversations with the guy, man. But you know, they need uh, you know, they should be uh on his ass hard to not take this fight, man. And uh, Golovkin should be smart, man. Hell, for his legacy, for his health. His championships, uh, you know, he is not pop positive on a test. He is subjected to a random uh, drug test through the Clean Boston program. He could have been tested between fights, and he gonna step in and fight this guy. Put all this shit on the line, man. The younger guy, the more athletic guy, in my opinion. Not smart, man. Not smart. You know, he should push should pull out of this fight, man. And uh, hell, Billy, Billy Joe is, you know, claimed a hand injury. Hell, I'm, I'm in the back of my mind. I'm thinking that hey, maybe he he postponed that Murray fight in case uh Triple G pulls out a Canelo fight, and then they can make a fight. He can cancel the Murray fight and then fight Golovkin, man. So, uh, you know, that's in my mind. You know, I, I'm thinking that's a possibility. I have no inside information, but you know, it could it could be possible, man. So, uh, you know, and and Canelo, man, look, if Canelo wins this fight, man, look. He, he's not going to get any, any credit, man. You know, it's just, it's a waste, man. You know, if, if Canelo wins this fight, anyway, knockout decision, they're going to say he won because he cheated, man. You know, and it's going to, it's going to be a, a it's going to be a, you know, a tainted mark on his legacy, man, on his resume. Not good, man. You know, the best advice, uh you know, and Canelo could come out of this looking like, you know, he could come out of it looking good, man. He actually could if they did the right thing, the smart thing, man. But it would cost. It would be very pricey. Uh, you know, if, if I was advising Canelo, man, I would tell Canelo that he should uh, he should come out and he should announce that he is uh, withdrawing from this fight, that he will not be fighting on Cinco de Mayo 2018, apologize to his fans, apologize to Triple G, uh apologize to everybody man say that you know that if if he truly believes and feels that it was contaminated meat you know say that you know that uh you know that he apologizes you know uh but you know ultimately it was his responsibility of of you know what he put in his body and he you know that he failed at that and uh that he you know, he he is not a cheater and he wants to prove that he's not a cheater and he is withdrawn from the fight, and that he will test uh, blood and urine randomly up until uh, his his next fight, which of course he fights in uh, September for that Mexican holiday. Uh, you know, he should say that hey, from you know from this point up until that fight, I'm gonna test randomly blood and urine. Uh, you know, multiple tests at my own expense to prove that you know that I am clean, man. And uh, you know, I, I will post my results uh, on a you know public forum. And, um, you know, should Golovkin and uh, uh, Billy Joe have a fight, I'd like to fight the winner in September, man. You know, and, and I think I think uh, people would respect Canelo if he did that, man. If he tested clean up until uh, September, I think that would, that would do a lot to help the guy, man, to help his, uh, his uh, reputation, man. So, 
uh, you know, there is a way for Canelo to come out of this uh, looking kind of decent, man, you know, to take some of that tarnish off his name, you know. So, uh, you know, that's the way I view it with uh, Canelo, man. And, uh, you know, Oscar, man, I feel like these guys should be telling the same thing, man. But, of course, they all want the money, man. Oscar, uh, Canelo, WBC, WBA, IBF. Uh, Golovkin, Loeffler, Abel Sanchez, they all want the money, man. You know, if these guys cared about Golovkin, man, I would be urging him to not do not take that fight, man. Pull out of the fight. You know, cancel this shit, man. You know, I, would be can- I would be canceling that fight, man. Uh, you know, Golovkin, if he's so hell-bent, if, he's, if he really feels Canelo is a cheat, why the hell he gonna get in the ring with him, man? You know, why put his health and his reputation, his championships, all that shit online and fight the guy, man? You know, does not make sense to me. So, um, you know, I believe I believe that's it, guys. I think I've covered everything. Um, but you know, this fight should not go off, man. Terrible idea. It's bad for boxing, man. You know, it's it is this is it's is an all time low moment, in my opinion, for boxing, man. A guy failed a drug test. Uh, random blood and urine test, water test, and the fight still goes off, man. The guy, I, in my opinion, definitely got advantages during training, uh, even just from having the trace amounts in his system, man. You know, even if it really was from contaminated meat, hell, the shit was in his system, man, and it could have helped the guy. So, you know, <sighs> boxing's doing it wrong, the UFC's doing it right, man. You know they, it, it, you know boxing, they have they have these blood and urine testing programs. You know if they are not going to hand out the punishment, if they're not going to set strict guidelines. You know and and hand out punishment the way that they should. They need to hire somebody that will, man. Somebody and 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 you know, have their hands clean of it, just like the UFC, man. Somebody comes say, hey, it's not on us, man. Our independent agency, they're the ones who hand out the uh, suspensions. You know. You know, I don't know if Vada would want to take on that responsibility, but clearly you saw the will. Uh, so, you know, the UFC, man, I mean, the uh, WBC, they need to uh, clamp down, man. They need to make sure all these guys fighting for titles need to be enrolled and cleaned by the program for at least six months and test, test it, you know. <clears throat> I think the higher ranked you are, the higher in the rank is, you're a champion, you should expect to be tested more, man, you know. And um, these guys should be tested frequently, man. So, you know, if a guy pops, it needs to be strict uh, guidelines, man. Hey, I don't care what it is. Trace amounts or whatever. If you pop positive on some shit, you know, it's going to be some kind of suspension uh, and or fine, you know. But uh, definitely a suspension because they do not need to be fighting guys with, some, with any type of uh, advantages, man. So... You know, I I think that's all I got to say in this video, guys. If I miss anything, I'll leave a comment in the comment section. But I will be making a video soon, man, talking about, uh, you know, my hardline stance on, uh, you know, PED usage in uh, boxing and how I'm, how I'm going to view these fights and these fighters and champions and uh, how I would encourage you guys to do also, man. But, you know, WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO, you know, you guys are, uh, you know, this is this is a black eye for the sport, man. Black eye for the sport, you know. Guy fails test, you're going to let the fight go off, man. This shit should have been canceled on the spot, man. You know, UFC, if this if, if this was the UFC, you know, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have even said what it was. They just would have said that he was flagged for a potential violation, and that shit would have been canceled, man, immediately. You know, immediately. So... Uh, you know, no pass, no excuse because it was Canelo because of the, the amount of money that, that, you know, that the UFC could have made. You know, hell, you saw the, uh, could care less. You know, it's their job to, uh, you know, maintain a clean, uh, sport. Uh, so, you know, uh, as I said, UFC 200, man, that was a, that was a big money maker, man. A lot of, a lot of money went into that event. A lot of hype. And uh, just days before the event, man, they canceled that shit. They canceled that fight, man. So, you know, uh, boxing, it's, it's time to it's time to get smart, man. It's time to get tough, you know. 
impose these uh these these penalties on these guys, man. So that's it, man. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think, man. And uh I will check in very soon, man. Thanks for watching.